Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up 7 Pokemon TCG Booster Packs, 4 Team Up, and 3 Lost Thunder. So 7 Booster Packs from the 2 newest sets in the TCG. I did purchase all of these Booster Packs from GameStop. The Team Up Booster Packs were $3.99 a piece, and then I was able to get the Lost Thunder Booster Packs for only $2 a piece at the buy one get one free sale. Here's a little bit different view of all seven packs. I'll start with Lost Thunder and end the opening with Team Up. Blacephalon is on the first pack of Lost Thunder. Would love to pull out a Blacephalon GX. I've had pretty amazing luck with Lost Thunder overall when it comes to Alola Ninetales GX, which is probably the best GX in the set, so no complaints on my part. Blacephalon has been hard to come by. First pack here starts with Hopip. Lost March is a great archetype from Lost Thunder. Carbink, Blitzel, Onyx, Spinarak, Darkness Type Energy, Pupitar, Counter Gain, a pretty good tool card. You can see that black edge back there. It's hard to keep the Prism Star cards hidden. Eridos. Prism Star I would like to pull out a Ditto. Thunder Mountain wouldn't be bad as well. It is a Ditto. My favorite Prism Star in Lost Thunder. A great ability on this card. And then the final card would be a Rabombi. And this is another card that has a great ability on it. So a good start to the opening. Continue with Lost Thunder. Another Blacephalon cover artwork design pack. With these GameStop booster packs, I've pulled lots of rare holo cards out, plus some regular GX. Not much when it comes to secret rares or full art cards. The second pack starts with Marini, Snubble, Granbull's a very good archetype, Slugma, Picky Peck, Bruxish, Fighting Type Energy, Choice Helmet, Morty, Stantler, Reverse Solo of an Alolan Doug Trio. This is an uncommon. And the final card would be an unknown. Now I have actually lost to unknown in the online TCG. I was playing a Zoroark control deck and just preventing what my opponent could do. My opponent kept adding cards to their hand and they actually had 35 cards in their hand at one time, put unknown in the active Pokemon spot and won the game. So some crazy abilities on the few different copies of Unknown in Lost Thunder. Final Lost Thunder booster pack here is Zara or on the cover artwork design. Looks to be another green colored code card. Could pull out a good rare reverse holo. White Kiram, Naganoddle, Jumpluff, several good ones in the set. Blitzel starts the final pack of Lost Thunder here. Onyx, Spinarak, Poplio, Morlo, Fighting Type Energy, Carbink, Shinotic, Kecleon, Reverse Solo, would be a Tapu Lele, so it is a rare. Good pull here, and the final card would be a Steelix. Four packs left here, all team up. Tag Team GX, of course, in this set. Celebi Venusaur on this one. Four different Prism Star cards in Team Up. Emolga starts the very first pack of Team Up. Mareep, Vulpix, Joltik, Blitzel, Psychic Type Energy, Heliolisk, Jasmine, Judge Whistle, Reverse Hollow of a Bill's Analysis, and this is a rare, good pull right here, and the final card would be a Mighty Anna. Back when base set was new in some of those original series sets, I always hated pulling trainer cards as rares. But now that I'm into the competitive scene, I do not mind that as much. Trainers are really the main cog in the TCG. Poochiana starts the second pack here. Alolan Geodude. Paris. Joltik. Blitzel. Darkness Type Energy. Morgan, 10 different full art cards in this set when it comes to the trainers. Morgan is one. Spiritum, Viridian Forest, Reverse Hollow of an Absol, and that's another rare. And the final card would be a Lapras. 
So a couple of good rare reverse hollows in this opening, especially from team up. Three rare reverse hollows overall. Would like to get an ultra rare or a secret rare here. Could happen in this pack, white colored code card. You can see that TCGO after the Pokemon.com URL. Squirtle starts this pack. Tentacool. Paris. Pawniard. Staryu. Fairy type energy. Cosmolum. Persian. Lavender Town. Reverse Solo. They water memory, which isn't uncommon. They always seem to have these memory cards for Silvalli. Silvalli GX really isn't very popular. And then the final card would be a Tag Team GX in Pikachu and Zacrom. So very happy with this pull. It made the opening. That is one of the better Tag Team GX. I believe it was the first Tag Team released or previewed. Final pack in this booster pack opening. Eevee and Snorlax on the Team Up pack. Potentially two rares in the final pack or a Prism Star, but very happy with the pulls overall, especially that Pikachu and Zekrom GX. Squirtle starts the final pack here. Tentacool. Grimer. Pidgey. Dratini. Fighting type energy. Tentacruel. Ingo and Emmet. Reverse Hollow after this War Turtle would be a Metal Goggles, which isn't uncommon. And the final card would be a Prime Ape. So I can summarize my pulls now. Very happy with them. A great ultra rare pull as well as a prism star. So out of these booster packs, I was able to pull three rare reverse solo, Absol, Bill's Analysis, and Tapu Lele. One prism star and ditto, and then easily the best pull of the opening, the tag team GX of Pikachu and Zekrom. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.